Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Slay the Princess. Um, so yeah, uh, one to go, apparently, which is crazy to think about. And we know who it is, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, if it's not the original girl, then it's just like, who, who could it be? But uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, skipping along here. I think we're going to be going through uh, a lot of this stuff because I think this is all very uh, samey, which is fine. She will. We're not going to ignore. Yeah, we're just going to keep going here. Uh, my plan here is to kind of uh, not take the, the knife, interior of the blade. which is what I was doing. And then she kind of acts all oh. innocent. Yes, don't. And then, uh, just continue Good. down the stairs You're still there. listening to reason. It would be better. And then we're going to sit here and talk. I am begging. Shut up. Let's talk a bit first. Okay. And then just not even. <laughs> Let's talk. Okay. That's enough. Um, can get you out of here? Don't make me regret this. <laughs> only making this more thank you and, and you won't you're making a huge no you're doing the right thing you walk up to the chains bind their love give him a tug i'm guessing not happening the key no nope. sure don't shut up uh do you have any other ideas some... yep yep or yep if yep that doesn't work she you can if cut we my arm off lamau uh -oh. someone... cool return to the bottom of the stairs you your way to the bottom of the stairs easier easier for everyone yep 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 yep, yep. Slam. There's a slight panic. If I could just get out of these chains. She barely hesitates <laughs> before raising <laughs> her arm to her mouth already. as she Fuck rips me, her no, flesh keep going. the blade. Or you it's okay. Kill her. We, we tried to kill her while she was like that, right? Without yeah. hesitation, the wound. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is, this is the right. The princess pushes away from wounded, but still alive. You've made a... I thought we had to act. I'm not so... Don't. Waver now as you ready your blade, and then she's all your crazy as shit. About Very cool. Slay the your princess, nerves are seizing with pain. You seize a moment of hesitation. We can still turn this around. Finish the job. This is exactly where we turned around here. You steal your resolve and take another step closer to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here either. That's weird, because you're always telling me that if I die along with her, then it doesn't matter. Excuse me? What's this about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Don't act so surprised. Can you not feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. You take another step forward, and the okay. princess lunges. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground, and the princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other fade away. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? Bitch, do you- are you blind? Do you have eyes? I'm clearly like a thing, I don't even know. Silence, as the room starts to get fuzzy around you. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. If you think this is it, you're sorely mistaken. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. But you don't have time to worry over such things. <laughs> Everything well, goes I dark, tried. and you die. Awesome. The witch! The witch. Okay. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to the cabin. What's the new voice we have? A warning. She will lie. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. The opportunist. Have I seen him before? I don't know if I have. 
Interesting. The interior of the cabin is a mess this of is twisted new. roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. This is definitely new. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay, yeah. Uh, you didn't say anything That's about the mirror. Shut up. Uh. Press my eyes. I want to look and see how oh, handsome sure I am. Right. If only there was some sort of reflective surface we could examine. Absolute shame there isn't anything like that around here. <laughs> you, you do see it, right? I don't know how to read you. <laughs> I see all sorts of things. But do you see the mirror? It's a simple yes or no question. Uh, I, um... Help me out here, will you? What the hell? Just answer his I'm question. I'm lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh, approach the mirror here. It's Very funny. Wipe the mirror. It's you gone. Reach. Well, at least we can all agree now that there's nothing to see here. Case closed. Good work, everyone. Take the blade. We take the blade from the shelf. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's a good point. That's not actually a bad idea. That's actually a really good idea. Though it doesn't give me an option to do anything about that. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her yep. voice skitters up from below. Skitters up? Ey, stop with the fucking adjectives, brother. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. First of all, we know that you bite. <laughs> you bite and claw and you just fuck me up with it. Uh, I'm not nasty. Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are. And I remember what you've done. She Epic. must have you confused with someone else. She sure it don't. Seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. Yes. You can't. Yeah, right. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Dude, I'm trying here, no. honestly. I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? You know, honestly, I'm right there with you. But in this case, in this particular game, I have been so fucking focused on <laughs> destroying this fucking bitch. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? I'm definitely one of those people like in Fallout or in uh, any RPG that's just like, I want to I want to exhaust all the dialogue and get all the information before I make a decision. And yet here, I'm just like, stab her. <laughs> you need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. He really is, honestly, kind of weirdly. Thank you. Whoa. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. Hey. All the all the furries in the comments say, hey, oh, please go. <laughs> you can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. <laughs> She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. Dude, imagine like this whole playthrough, I'm like slaying these bitches and then I just got like, oh shit. She got a tail. <laughs> Girl, let me help you. <laughs> and there you are. One hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. What? N no. That's not fair. 
How would she know that? <laughs> so, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? Uh-oh, he figured it out this time. We didn't even have to tell him. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Okay, because every other time you've been very in denial. Well, you seem to be great at it. Do you remember us then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chatter up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. I don't have... Uh, no. No. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Uh, how the fuck am I going to kill this one? Because if I get into hand-to-hand -hand combat, I mean, damn, look at those dogs, bro. Look at those claws, dude. She going to fuck me up for sure. Do I just, do I just profusely apologize? Look, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made a mistake. Don't worry, the blade isn't for you or not for killing you. We've got to get you out somehow, right? get the sense that you're not happy with me are you scared oh you scared me okay when you started gnawing your arm off it scared me so i stabbed you things got out of hand uh we both last time died last time can't bygones be bygones look i know i know things got messy last time but i think there's something bigger than both of us at work we should team up uh, why do I have the nagging feeling you're gonna stab me in the back if I help you out of here? I don't want to hurt you, but clearly there's some broken trust. Take this as a gesture of my goodwill. Give her the blade? Absolutely not. Look at her little smug little kitty face. Stupid bitch. Uh, I don't <laughs> trust you. Not enough to free you, and I definitely not... And definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving. Bye. Uh, I'd like to be straightforward with my intentions. I didn't care for how you treated me last time. And I think you might be in da a danger to the world. I'm going to attack you now. <laughs> uh, let's be pretty straightforward. I mean, that, oh, God. Do we give her the heads up? Or do we just go for it? Or do we talk? I don't even know. We sure as shit ain't giving her the blade. That's for goddamn sure. I'm just gonna kill her. Without uttering a word, <laughs> you charge the prince. So much for finding an easy way out. I can't believe you're making us work for it. Better a violent fool than a plotting coward. Better for me, at least. As you close the distance, directly attack strike, a suspicious the character. Chain falls from her wrist. Knives out and masks off. Interesting. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. She's going to pounce on me. <laughs> I got to stop. <laughs> she takes advantage of your split second of surprise and throws a fistful of dirt into your eyes. Oh, you bitch. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little a woman after my own heart, really. It's a shame we're playing opposite teams. This is why you couldn't just abandon her here. Left to her own devices, she would always find a way out. Now stop her. You must have known I would be ready for you. Deep in your heart, you know the same things about me I know about you. We're both so very awful. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I'll agree there. As you brush the silt from your eyes, the princess tackles oh, no. you, flattening you against the dirt floor. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I was joking. Brother. <laughs> Oh, no. We were always going to kill each other here, weren't we? I can't trust you, and you can't trust me, and those doubts spin and spin and spin into hate. 
hate boner? What the hell is going on here? She oh. buries her teeth deep into your chest, tearing at. Great, she's distracted. Stab her in the back. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. In for a penny, Damn right? It. Why not? <laughs> As the princess rips Oy. meat from bone, you plunge your weapon into her unprotected back. Fuck! Ha, <laughs> you bastard! Even face to face, you find a way to stab me in the back. I know you, and you're hideous. Absolutely wretched. Just like me. Is she coming on to me? I can't even tell at this point, dude. Maybe we are the same. So <laughs> what? Throw her off us. Kick her in the shins. And that's some big fucking shins, I gotta tell you that we much. We don't have to fight so dirty. No, we're going to. Of course we do. Fighting clean won't help us win. Exactly. It takes a wretch to know a wretch, and we're all at the bottom of the barrel here. There's no point in pretending otherwise. I, uh, you know what? This guy's got me. He's, I'm coming around to him, for Are sure. at the bottom of the barrel? I mean, yeah, we're, we only got one left here. We've got dirt in our eyes and a chunk of us chewed out. If that's not the bottom of the barrel, what is? No arguments here. You're doing great. Keep playing dirty if that's what it takes. But if we win, we won't be at the bottom anymore. We'll have climbed a little higher. And once we start climbing, well, who knows where we'll stop? You'll stop right here if you keep daydreaming. Don't let yourself get distracted thinking about what comes after. None of us ever said we stopped fighting. And what a low and vicious hey. fight it is. Eyes gouged, skin scratched bloody, hair ripped and nails broken. Every rule there ever was in the book of honorable combat. Both you and the princess have broken a dozen times over. Jeez, all right. That's nice and all, but are we winning? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd like to know too. Does Nobody's not look winning. like it. I thought playing dirty was supposed to give you the upper hand, but I suppose that doesn't work if you both sink to the same lows. Still, at least you're not losing. The princess cackles maniacally as the cracker continues. <laughs> but behind her cackle, you hear the low groan of warping wood. Oh yeah, I was about to say, wasn't this a witch? Why is it a furry? Wait, what's going on? We're establishing a newer, better packing order. Uh-oh. No, the groaning thing. Why is the wood making noise? Who cares about the groan? It's just a sound. Things make sounds all the time. I care about the groan. Doesn't that mean something bad is happening? Yeah, bad has been happening, brother. Oh, yes, well, I'm afraid that's the sound of the basement getting smaller. Oh! Do you hear that, you pathetic wretch? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to choke the breath from your lungs and squeeze the life out of you. Cool. Choke me harder. Excuse me, what? You and the princess disengage for a brief moment, just long enough to get your bearings. Behind you, the basement door has been sealed over, thick roots barring your only exit from the dirt pit. And slowly, but very perceptibly, the roots are closing in on you both. Well, I just need to kill you, so I don't really care. That's right. They're coming for you. And they won't stop until there's nothing left down here but them. Cool. What about you? They'll crush you just as easily as they'll crush me. Uh, make them stop. You can make them stop, right? Uh, we're not animals. We're people. Uh, uh, that's not true at all. Uh, we can work this out. We can make things better. Uh, I take it all back. I can help you get out of here. And you and I can work. You and I can work together. We can be friends. I'm sorry. Give up and await death or go out fighting. Uh, they'll kill you too, right? As long as you suffer while you die, I'll gladly suffer with you. Especially if I get to see it happen. That's... fucked. That's insane, lady. This doesn't help anyone. <laughs> I can't believe she'd kill us both just to spite me. See? This is exactly why you've been tasked to slay her. She's an antisocial monster who will gladly burn the whole world for her satisfaction. I see it now. Thank you. Okay. The roots grow ever closer. We know. We can see them. Okay, maybe uh, exploring isn't the best option here. So let's go out fighting. You attack the princess once more, and once more the two of you fall into a vicious brawl. The basement continues to shrink as you fight, but neither of you pay it any more mind. Not until it's too late. Mm. The roots twist around you both, binding your limbs and rendering you helpless. As your fates close in, all you can do is watch her, and all she can do is watch you. 
<laughs> Just imagine. Hey, this is pretty hot, right? <laughs> At first, it's almost gentle. The two of you lift it delicately off the ground. But the cradle of the growing roots soon gives way to tightness. That tightness gives way to bulging pressure as they begin to constrict. Not hot! Not hot! Hey! The sound oh, of creaking Jesus wood is drowned Christ. out by the snaps and pops of your bones. Pain flooding your senses as you feel your skin deform, being shaped unnaturally by the living basement. Oh, fuck! Tears well up in the princess's eyes, her own bones splintering and flesh swelling with trapped blood. But still, she smiles through it all. Why is she crying? She didn't even bat an eye when I cut off her arm. I can't wait to do this again, you wretched little thing. I hate you, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, same, except for the way I wouldn't have it is that I would die. You know, I'd like you to die for sure. The pressure uh, is unbearable. Yeah. You can't breathe. Your vision swimming with red. Your head pounding as everything tightens. Cool. And then you pop. Everything goes dark. And you die. Epic. The wild. Okay. Oh. We are a path in oh, the Oh, what the fuck? We have no beginning, and we have no end. But something cold and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. My cursor changed to that weird one that I had earlier. What the fuck is going on in this one? His gaze pushes against our borders, curling them in on themselves preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. I have no idea what's happening now. No, 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 that's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? That's not... That's not the princess, is it? Oh no. How many times have you been here? I lost count, honestly. I lost count like a couple episodes ago, so... <laughs> I think... This is our third? Yeah, he thinks that. I don't. <laughs> That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well, no wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Yeah. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this? The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. Is she talking about the narrator? Interesting. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye or with a passing glance. Shut up. The rest <laughs> of you talk. What happened? What did you do? Oh, what's the new voice we're gonna get? Sure, there's no reason to keep secrets. Someone decided to go in guns blazing last time, and that someone got us killed. Shut the fuck up! You were all in it! And what should we have done? Let you oh. draw things out with all that conniving. Everyone knows a straight fight is best. It's honest. Voice of the stubborn. There's Welcome. no need to bicker about it. I wasn't trying to start anything. I don't mind what happened to us. I kind of like it now that we aren't actively being crushed. True. Yeah. Now that you mention it, this isn't so bad. I mean, this is kind of quite weird. It is kind of quite weird, huh? And it's not like the fight is what killed us anyway. It was the cabin. No point worrying about who charged who when that place ground us all into paste in the end. The princess included. Interesting take. It was a fitting end. I'm sorry if it hurt, but doesn't this make it all seem so small? Who the fuck is this bitch? She's apologizing? Get out of here. I see. So the cabin ground you into paste, and now you're convinced you're stuck together. What a mess. He doesn't understand. Neither do I! We aren't convinced of anything. 
and we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> oh, God. This thing watching us, what is he? Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, why should anyone do anything right now? <laughs> this is fine. I like being this. Uh, why are you being nice to me? Don't you hate me? Don't we sort of hate each other? That's a good play. Uh, I can, I can feel the pressure of the outside pushing in on us. What are we supposed to do about it? This is how we're supposed to be. But what do we do now? Whatever we are right now is an abomination and I want out. I don't like this. I'm supposed to be me and you're supposed to be something that isn't me. Are you okay, narrator? How do I stop her? Okay, you, narrator. How do I stop her? Or do nothing. What is he? I'm not watching you. I'm trying to help you. That's not an answer to our question. Yep. I don't know what he is. I only know that he is something other, and that he wishes for you and I to tear ourselves apart. I would also kind of like that, actually. I do want that, but only because <laughs> it's in your best interests. It's in everyone's best interests. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. Okay, but can't I just kill myself <laughs> again? He wants us to kill each other. I mean, he more wants me to kill you. I don't. I want you to kill her. Yeah, fair. Don't be charmed by her faux solidarity. You're not in this together. She's the only one who poses a threat to the world, and she's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her, especially when you have what it takes to stop her. Okay. Okay. Had enough of this guy. How do we stop him? Ooh, I can go against a narrator. I can go against her. Uh, okay, let's say I want to stop her. What do I do? I feel like I can't do much of anything right now. Uh, why should anyone do anything right now? This is fine. I like being this. Uh, why are you being nice to me? Don't you hate me? Don't we sort of hate each other? We can't go hey. back to that. We can't go back to the doubting and the hatred and the schemes. Not after being something as beautiful as this. Okay, calm down. Doesn't all that conflict Thank you. feel so far away right now? No. So petty. Not with that. We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. That's weird to say. I don't think that's true. Spoken like, honestly, a real puppet master. Have we considered that maybe she's the one trying to trick us? I mean, always, but I mean, the narrator isn't, isn't helping either. I'm not. Yeah, okay. But there's a feeling, isn't there? That petty feeling she mentioned it is fuzzy, but it's there. Almost like she still hates us. Cool. It feels mutual. Damn straight. Please stop. If you pay attention to that feeling, we'll fall apart. Don't look at it! Ugh. She's trying to turn you away from the truth. There's something she doesn't want you to see. But I think you already know you have to look at it. Hold yourself together. We're no strangers to effort. We can push this back down. Something might do us in eventually, but I'll be damned if that something is a thought. Okay, that's weird. No, gaze into the hatred in your heart. For Please, sure. Don't make us remember how we were. Sorry, bitch. And just like that, you start to fall apart. Right, she really does hate us, and we hate her. It hurts thinking about us as separate things, but we're separate. We can't hate ourselves. I love me. Ah, uh, calm down. We never got to see the end of that fight, did we? And we can't both be winners. One of us has to beat the other, right? 
correct. I don't want to remember Hopefully, what it felt maybe. like to be killed. We can both lose. It was so much nicer when it didn't feel like it mattered. And yet you keep remembering. You remember the loathing and animosity you've shared with the princess, the pain and the anger and the betrayal. And you start to remember something else, too. You remember that you are a distinct being with a finite form and a mortal body. You can feel it. There is a shifting of the space around you, the infinitesimal movement of your molecules rearranging back into the shape of what you're meant to be. Jesus, I didn't know we were that strung out. <laughs> Maybe bygones can't be bygones. I don't know why I ever wanted to share a body with you, of all things. It's like my very soul reeks of yours. That was horrible. This is better. Finally, I'll be able to hurt you like you deserve. Okay, maybe this was a mistake. I wish I didn't have to. Some division, when so, Some tears can never, can never be mended. Tears. A cavernous gash rips across whatever it was you thought you were. What the fuck? Oh, that's the... the cabin. Yeah. Oh, this is creepy. The cabin comes okay. into being among the trees. It approaches, and it swallows your body whole. The hell? And then oh! you find yourself blade in hand, exactly where you need to be. At the center of it all is the princess, a wooden and fleshy heart beating with an unbroken rhythm. You're filled with a sense of purpose. Strike at her. End this once and for all. Kill me then, if you hate me so much. Just get it over with. This doesn't feel like a fight. This isn't what I wanted. Where's the victory in this? Right here. <laughs> well, this should be easy. If you're sure about it. I mean, what's the point of being king of the hill if there's no one around to be better than? We'd just be sitting on a hill. <laughs> okay, that's a weird sentiment. But also, Trissy? I'm just kidding. Do we have to do this? <laughs> you have to. Never really wanted to kill you. Never wanted to kill you, not really. Uh, but we can't be in the same thing as we... Fuck, I can't read. But we can't be the same thing as each other. I had to put an end to whatever happens to us. Cut her free. Uh, no. You raise the blade, taking aim at her heart. And then you strike. I will say this one and the uh, the little girl that was strangling me, those probably felt the worst out of all of them to kill. I'm For sorry. sure. Please don't. Please just. Just get taken by the hands, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you never see her die. It's time to leave. Memories She's return. Gone. Where did she go? Shut up. Mirror yeah, yeah, yeah. Approach the mirror. You approach this, the mirror. This doesn't screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. If they think it's bad, I'm with them. Voices feel small distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Uh, silence as you reach forward. They're uh, gone again. Once again, the mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Here we go. Achievement time. Oh, uh, never mind. You are nothing at all. What? That's a crow thing looking. That isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and you, then you see it. A figure faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection. Who are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh, you son of a bitch. A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. Oh, and then another crack forms, and another, and another, uh, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Epic. Holy shit, this is cool. Oh my god, I didn't like that blinking. So many blinkings. Uh, so you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. Uh, what are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? 
I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? I'm sorry I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away and stop asking questions? Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of you breaks. Are you a part of me or are you something else? You're the one who wanted to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same? Have you been the same you all along? I wanted... I wasn't supposed to see this at all, was I? What is this place? Where are we? Destroy the mirror. Huh. Uh, if you're not mean, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. And make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, okay, important questions only. Got it? Um... What are you? Are you something like me? No. He's clearly a bird. If you're not like me, then what are you? Does it hurt? I want to destroy you. Do I walk away? Every time I ask you something, a piece of you breaks. Are you part of me? Or are you something else? Is that the same as this up here? Are you something like me? Okay, no. If you're not me, what are you? I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Okay. Uh, where was it? I just saw it. Hold on. You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. And despite how far you've fallen, you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Oh. Hey, god damn. Okay. Interesting. You said she contains death. What is she? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. What the fuck does any of that mean? God damn it. If you want to destroy the concept of transformation, how is that existence any better than death? Or any different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Do you have anything to say for yourself? For all the hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Do you know that things won't just be worse if I destroy her? What would it be like to live in a world without her? So you're the narrator. I never thought I'd get to see. Okay, so these are all the, the old ones. I'm going to kill this guy just by asking him questions. Why did you make her a princess? I didn't make her a princess. But I wove the idea of her into something your scattered mind could fathom. You chose for that something to be a princess. Weird. Goodbye. Okay. If you want me to destroy the concept of transformation, how's that any better than death? When I broke the cycle, I made sure that the tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carries a part of what should be you. Things won't be as they are now, but they won't be nothing, either. You say that, but this is the nothing that I've been seeing every Besides, time. anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to leave. Okay, I've got a couple questions left here. Uh, you're delusional. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all the hubris? I do. The people out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. Kind of hard to, um, 
to imagine that when I literally haven't seen another human being or anyone, any living creature, honestly, right? I haven't even seen a fucking bunny rabbit or nothing in the woods. I haven't seen shit, brother. Uh, do you think anyone deserves to live? Nobody alive has done anything to you. I'm all gone. But if you and the princess want to smite the rest of them for the crimes of a dead man, if you really want to be that petty, there isn't much I can do to stop you. Okay, looks like we got three sections left, maybe. Uh? What would it be like to live with a world without her? Has every narrator been different? Does it hurt? I don't care about his pain. <laughs> I'll be real with you. Are you part of me or are you something else? No, I'm not a part of you. But that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point, I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well... All the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? Okay, that was very vague and unhelpful. Um... If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. I don't know about that. Alright, last one. Run out of questions. Death of the author. Very cool. I think you're out of time. I'm not going to slay her. I want you to know that before you die for good. Rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. Lie. Rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all this. Say nothing and watch him end. Uh, I'll get her, bud. Don't worry about it. Are you lying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo, and echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. I mean, not specifically, but okay. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with new found clarity. Oh, the long quiet. All of this is you. Oh, I am the long quiet. A vast and nascent god? Okay, and <laughs> it's finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. Bring the wounded wild to her. Okay. When you arrive, when you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Oh, shit. She's gonna be huge, ain't she? Whoa! Okay. Hey! God damn! I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. I'm gonna get demonetized with this orgy. What the fuck, bro? Oh, girl, this hot as shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. All right, calm down. Do I have a knife? <laughs> I've missed you too. Did you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the wine long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. What happens now? Uh, did you hear the narrator? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Okay. I'm the long, long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. I don't know. This seems to be a shifting mound of women. So... I think that's pretty accurate. What happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Hey, bitch, I'm clicking on shit. Don't fucking come at me. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, 
but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Fuck, that's a pretty big binary choice there. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I saw it there. I saw the option. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, there's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions I need an and I need answers before I can make a choice. If I let you out, the entire world ends for good. Can you do that? I can't do that. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it ever even... Did it, did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying or letting you out. I won't let it. I won't do it. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Slay the princess, slay the princess. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. Son of a bitch. Um. Why me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Okay. Weird. Let's talk this through. If I let you out, the entire world ends for good. I can't do that. I think we just kill her, boys and girls. There has to be another way. This can't come down to either me letting you show you. I won't do it. <sighs> yeah, I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. I know, and I've been waiting for you to see it through. Oh shit, she's mad now. Violence has always been our language, hasn't it? Uh oh. If this is what it takes to save you, then so be it. Okay. Hello. A web of nerves, laying upon a web of nerves, laying what upon the a fuck? web of nerves. The shade of a beautiful beginning we can never return to. I was a furry the whole time. You knew me, and I knew you, even more than either of us know each other now. And you chose to pull apart that weave. And when the tapestry was undone, you struck at my heart. You saw me as a part of you to be excised, but in that desire for excision, you made yourself whole. Will you still be whole if you destroy me? Yes. <laughs> of course I will be, because I destroyed you then. Oh, that one's red. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. Explore. Address the vessel's statement directly. Appeal to your shard... Your shared humanity. You speak about life and death and change and stagnation. But that isn't what any of this has been. Reject her authority. You've done nothing but lecture me since the moment I, the minute I got here. Argue your independence. You act as though the world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. Reject her perspective. I won't engage with violence or remain silent. Fuck. I kind of want to do that, but I also want to kind of do these, you know? You act as though the world can't exist without you, but I've existed without you. I think I'm going to do that. That one sounds good. Have you? Or is what you think of as independence merely an illusion? Without me, you can have no contrast. And without contrast, you have no shape. Fuck. She got me. Ugh. Oh, okay. 
Okay, hello. Hey! That's hard to fucking understand. Yep, that's definitely me. You know what he looks like? He looks like uh, Lugosi from fucking Beastars. Anyway. Fuck, I don't know what any of that means. Even when you cut the signal to my body, I clearly executed you. I cleanly executed you. And when I was confronted with your spirit, I hurled you down a bottomless pit. Address it directly. Appeal to your shared humanity. You speak about life and death and change the sec- Oh, okay. Authority. Continue to argue your independence. What are these? What are the woods then? What are the cab? What is the cabin? What is the time we've spent apart, if not me existing as myself? Oh, what the fuck? I get it. There's no need for us to keep fighting. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fighting early and surrender. I think I'll continue to argue my independence. I really don't want to do these red options, honestly, just because I don't know. It feels like she wins. <laughs> Let's just keep time arguing independence. Spent away from me is still time spent in reference to me. Even then, both of us are more than our bodies. Am I not in the trees? Am I not in the cabin? Am I not in you? Yeah, I'd like to be in you, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, you okay. You are weightless and alone, suspended in the gravity of an idea too great for you to hold. This is the big A bitch. tiny island caught between the death of the old and the birth of the new. Oh, God, she's but all the way back there. you did not go quietly. You spat in the eye of that which would claim godhood, and through that defiance, you bound us both together. That's cool. Without me, there are no externalities to resist. And without you to resist me, there can be no externalities. It is struggle that carves meaning into consciousness. Jesus, this got philosophical real quick. Uh, even when you became a shadow of a god, still you were bound to my will. I denied your apotheosis. Then, and I will deny your apotheosis now. Continue to argue about your independence. I wouldn't be here if destroying you would leave all of reality in a colorless blur. Do I just go ham on this independence argument? I think I do. You place far too much trust into the ravings of a fearful and ignorant soul who overstepped his bounds. All right, what's next, girl? Ah, uh, the other you. ghost. You kill me. Back and forth we go. Faster and faster and faster. I kill you. And you kill me. That's the point Our of the game, baby! Watch from the dark corners of a forgotten place flooded by emotions left unspoken. The tide rises. I kill you and me. An ending is a passion that can only be expressed with a moment in time. It is a seed for a new beginning. To linger on an ending is to rob it of its life. And without me, all that's left to do is linger. Uh, I killed you while you tried to strangle me. <laughs> and when you flooded me with tears, I did not drown. Now, uh, let's keep going, Independence. I'd rather trust an ignorant soul who died trying to make things better than a god who'd let the a wheel of suffering turn forever. Intent is nothing. Wisdom is everything. I turn the wheel because suffering is a falsehood. A delusion. 
It is up to the world to free itself of it. Would you plunge yourself into a cold and empty eternity on faith alone? Would you destroy the only other thing like you to save a world you've never seen? That's a good point, actually. Oh, okay. I, you. I bleed you. I grind you to paste. My scars are a memory of what you used to be to me. I want those feelings back. You run, but you do not run away. You take me somewhere new. Somewhere we can dance like we used to. But I could not follow your steps. There was no better gift for me than the gift of defeat. You showed me how much more I could be. We made each other better. To have no challenges to fade into nothing. A life without obstacles is no life at all. Okay. I remember the moment of victory. As soon as you entered my domain, I destroyed you. Uh, if I need to destroy you to build a better world, then I will. And if I need to spend all of eternity to stop you, then I will gladly do so. Bring it on, bitch. As the clash between you abates, the princess relax. relaxes, smiling from a distance. The respite is welcome. Are you still committed to my destruction, or has your resolve started to waver? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. You cannot remove something without removing the relations which define it. To destroy what you perceive as evil is to damn everything you perceive as good. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Interesting. Uh, it's easy to believe in things you believe in when you <laughs> get to sit above it all. Uh, what do you think happens if we leave here? Okay, I'm ready to leave, but I don't know how. I can't let that happen. I can't let everything die. Slay the princess. I told you there was enough of you in me to preserve meaning and existence. I was told there was enough in you of you in me to preserve meaning in existence. I'm going to trust that that's true. I have to fight for a better world. I'm so sorry. You are cruelty itself and I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is here, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. Fuck. I'm just gonna tell her she's a bitch, right? Your cruelty itself and I cannot let you exist. <laughs> then try to destroy me if you can. But I will not yield easily to your delusion. You don't have to face her alone. <gasps> My boy! Which hero are you? You have no idea how good it is to hear you. I can do this alone. Where's everyone else? How are you supposed to help? I thought voices weren't allowed in here. I thought you died whenever you lo I looked into the mirror. Say nothing. Which hero are I'm you? All of them? I assume in the same way that you're all of you. Okay, good to know. Um. Where's everyone else? They're still where you left them. Stuck in the folds of this place. Part of me is with them, just like part of me is with you right now. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. <gasps> it's time to resume Ooh. our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? I am. I can do this out here on my own. I'm ready. Then let's go. <laughs> let's 
getting way more detailed. Oh, okay. It's getting less detailed. Here we are. Oh, look at all I'd the say women. We were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? <laughs> uh, no. I'd like that for old time's sake. Uh, is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? Is the real narrator really gone? Take the blade. Is it just you and me? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of her. Okay. Is the narrator yeah, really gone? It's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Okay, cool. <laughs> The offer still stands. Could you describe the cabin for me to all time sake? Good riddance. I don't actually know how to feel about him being gone. It's funny after everything he put us through. I'm kind of sad to see him go. Is that why you want to see this through and slay her? Take the blade. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. True. Let's go. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? We both know why you're here. You don't have to draw it out for my sake. It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are, knife in hand. That sight brings me back. You're going to do it then, aren't you? You're really going to kill me. I mean, you're not even chained up now. You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? Fuck. Fuck! What do I do? I kind of do when I talk to her. Okay, I still got the knife in hand. Watch out, watch out, watch out. She's got a nice tiara. Very cool. Uh, I don't think I want to be a god. Are you the same as you are out there? I only wanted to slay you out there. It's easier to kill an abstract concept than it is to a person. I don't want to hurt anyone. There has to be a way out of this. I don't think I've ever really wanted to slay you. But I don't like what your existence means for the world. What are you going to do? I don't want to have to slay you. But I don't know what other option there is. I'm sorry. Kill her or kill her. I don't think I've ever wanted to kill you, but I don't like what your existence means for the world. Well, I don't want to be at the end of that knife, so how about we figure something out? What if we tried doing this forever? I can do whatever you think I can, right? So make me put it all back. Make me fix whatever this place is and make me wipe our memories of everything that's happened. Make me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up. Before either of us saw the truth. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? No, that's not at all what I want. Would resetting it do anything to help them? The people out there? If you continue to exist, don't they continue to suffer and die? I don't want to forget you. We're going to find ourselves back here eventually. If we're talking about this right now, how do we know this hasn't been done before? This isn't fair. I want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. Is there any other way? I take it all back. I don't want this. And I don't want to kill you. Is it too late to go back to being a god? I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Killer. Agree to her plan. Okay, then let's do it. I believe in us. 
Would that help them? Fixing that is on you, not me. If you want me to help them, you'll have to make me help them. What kind of fucking... What kind of passive-aggressive bullshit is that? Let's just say we haven't done this before. I don't think that's something we'll ever get to know. But odds are we've probably done it before. Nah. We're gonna find ourselves back here eventually. And if we do, nothing is stopping us from making the same choice. We could just keep doing this forever. How do you know that things won't end worse? What if when we make... What if when I make my way back here, I'm different and I hurt you? What if I kill you? What if I let you bring about the end of everything? Shit. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. You and me both. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it works out. Despite our differences, I've always loved you, and I wish you nothing but the best. You blink and the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small, melancholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. The tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carried a part of what should be you. Things won't be now as they were then. But they aren't nothing either. She's gone. And I don't think she's coming back. Good! No, I'm just <laughs> no she's not. A small part of her is with us. No, she's not. Then we did what we set out to do. Come on, let's get going. We don't need to linger down here anymore. You leave the basement behind. Then the stairs. Then the cabin. <laughs> and then you leave the cabin itself. It's quiet here. And long. <laughs> Path in the woods outside are empty cabin canvas but there is an even more but there is even more to see beyond this place the fruits of your labor a world free from death set yourself free the body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom everything here is you you feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale but twisted and crumpled and bound in agony, agonizing tension to a finite plane. You can feel the grasp of your cage, of the glass of your cage pressing, pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not He's yield. Gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once, the unyielding tension gives way. Is that the sun? And then the shattering. You feel free, and before you lies an endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality, one forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this new world. It's finally over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. Oh, the broken! I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. This is nice. No more hunting. No more running. Just us. And whatever's out there. Absolute reality. Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? 
and who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? The whispering, and the coercion, and the bickering. Everything horrible about being alive has stopped. I could get used to this. That wasn't very hard at all. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, boys, how does it feel? We're not just on top of the packing order. We are the packing order now. It's good to be back. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. We can do that, yeah? Yeah. We can do that. A new and unending dawn. Slay the princess. Do I have to click to... Oh. I can. Well, goddamn. That's quite the ending, huh? Holy shit. We did it. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know how that feels. <laughs> I'll be... I'll be real with you. That's, uh... That's an interesting ending. Oh, everyone on Patreon. Good shit. Oh, look at the kitty and the snake and the... Is that an axolotl? Cool. Finish the game. The good ending doesn't count. Awesome. Thank you for so much for playing. As an expression of our gratitude, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take screenshots, you can hide the UI by pressing H. Oh, so that's all the songs that played in my order of events. Oh, that's fucking sick. I like that a lot. That's such a cool little uh, uh, thing that they did. And now that you've finished the full story of the fr for the first time, you've also unlocked the gallery. You can access it from the main and in-game menus under the Mo Memories tab. And it's full of clues that will help you find undiscovered vessels in interactions. Happy hunting. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Join the Discord, join our mailing list, join the subreddit, follow us somewhere else. Ooh. Uh, make your playlist, play our other game, or return to the main menu. Well, let's check out this memories tab. Look at that! I hadn't even... Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 people I didn't fucking see. The hero and the princess. Oh, look at that. And it has... All the locked art here. Find the damsel. Find the specter. Find the razor. Find the beast. I thought you said <laughs> she wasn't armed. Get her to break open her own chains. Always leave a means of easy gr egress. Weird. Everything would be so easy if you would just do exactly as I say as quickly as you can. The spaces between. The woods, the cabin, it's you, you've grown, you've withered, you've unraveled, you are nothing at all, the narrator. Damn both of you to an incomplete existence. Interesting. And in the end of everything. Finish the game. Finish the game. Okay. Find your freedom as gods forever. Oh, that's if I accepted her. Find your freedom as gods forever. The end is never the end. The end is never the end is never the end. Hold on. Okay, and then uh, leave with her at the end of everything. Leave with her at the end of everything. Go back to where it all started. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of these. 
destroy her without any outside help. Interesting. The adversary. Song we write in our blood. Oh shit. Okay. Holy fuck, there's so much here. Okay, didn't she like fucking fuck me up like super hard? How the hell was all this supposed to happen? <laughs> Slay her without a moment's hesitation. The nightmare. Okay, so let's see. The adversary, the tower, the nightmare. She isn't armed, is she? Fall to a feral captive. The witch. I love these little art pieces. They're so cute. They're so cute. Uh, offer... Offering one hand while concealing the other. A stranger? A peek behind the curtain? Likely far too soon. A prisoner? Doubt breaks open one shackle while forcing another. Isn't this the one that I absolutely just destroyed her? <laughs> that was fun. What is this one? Free a guilt gentle captive. Eye of the needle. Wait a second, aren't these the same girl? Or no? For those who dwell in caves, meaning lies beyond the shadow dancing on the walls. I felt like that's the same girl. Anyway, angels and demons are cut from the same cloth and it's best to deny a proud being. The apotheosis. The struggle and fail against the divine is to welcome it into your heart. Sometimes when you cut something out of you, a piece of you leaves with it. Wrath, a broken doll, spirit slain. Better to linger with your nightmares than to let them run wild. Weird. There are other ways to die to nature than to let it swallow you whole. That's good, the wild. Body fused, bodies fused. Where does one thing begin and another ends? Sometimes the only way to break a vicious cycle is to put your heart on the line. When you've seen the worst sights the prison of the world can offer, you can always choose to walk away empty-handed. Gray. Feelings buried like knives and hearts. You don't need the world for your happy ending. Well... Beginnings and endings, and then each of the vessels. Well, that is super fucking cool and super fucking good. I don't know. I might play this again. I'm not going to lie. Just to kind of go the opposite route of... Maybe I'll fall in love and, and free some girls and see what happens from there, but... I slayed the princess. Fucking mission accomplished, motherfucker. Come at me. I know this one was a little long, but, uh, definitely fucking amazing game. What an amazing story. So fun. So creepy and disturbing in, like, the best way. I loved it. I loved the hell out of it. This game's great. Thank you so much. To Black Tabby, is it Black Tabby Cat Games or what is it here? Hold on, I gotta. What is? Hold on. No, I don't know. Go on our Discord. Uh oh. Yikes! Black Tabby Games. Okay, it's not uh, Black Tabby Cat Games. That was my bad. But thank you for the key. I I super enjoyed my time with the game, and I will probably be back, if anything. Uh, but yeah, I'll call it there, and I'll see y'all in the next one.